Hi everyone. We'll look into the stats of in cricketers for test match. So I do have player dimension and we have few of the KPIs for runs and highest score. We can also look into the number of centuries scored. So let's just double click on player name. And uh, I just want to showcase the total number of or total number of centuries. So we can make use of sorting here, just sort it out. And let's say I'm going to create a bar graph. Let's sort it out here. And if I just want to showcase, let's say top 10 or top 15. So I can make use of player name here, just drag and drop player name into filters. Go back to top by field. You can see top 10 by sum of hundreds. So based on total number of hundreds, we can fetch only the top 10 players based on total number of centuries. And just drag and drop hundreds into labels to showcase the total number of centuries. And you can see Sanchin Chandulkar scores 51 centuries and the next rabbit covers Kerbirat Kohli. So if you want to go for dynamic ranking, just right click, edit. Let's say instead of 10, let's say if you want to select 15, 20, something like that, click on the drop down, create a new parameter. So let's say like rank. So you can make use of minimum, I will go for minimum 10, maximum up to 100. And let's say I will make use of step size five so that I can increase increase phi number. So click OK. So just right click on this parameter, show parameter control. So I am showing top 10 players based on the number of centuries. And you can increase up to top 15. And you can also go up to top 20, something like that. You can increase the number by five, top 25, top 30, something like that. So this is what the highest centuries in the test for India. So you can showcase at least a minimum. You can show, showcase top 10 for now. So let's go to the another analysis. Like we do have highest individual scores in test. So for now, in centuries, Sachin Tendulkar is top. So let's go back to highest individual scores in test. Go back to player team and highest score. And you can also do sorting here. Let's make use of sorting or let's create a bar graph and try to make use of sorting here and just drag and drop the highest score into labels to showcase the number of runs and here also the same if you want to filter out some unwanted data or not unwanted data if you want to showcase only those let's say scores greater than 300 or let's say if you want to filter out based on score highest score from 100 to 300 or higher from 100 that's a minimum so you can filter out you can you can uh, use 100 as a minimum highest score so that you can scroll down you can check those all all the players who score more than 100 okay so we already aware of the total number of centuries who scored based on a player name similar to that we can also check the highest individual scores so we're in the Sevak tops uh, for the highest individual scores with 319. And for him, he do have a couple of triple centuries as you are aware of that. So Karunair have one triple century. And next we do have VBS Lakshman, Rahul Dravid with 270 and Virat Kohli, then Sachin Chenduka with 248, okay. So we have, if you want to uh, filter out like from 200, like more than 200 plus, make use of entire view. You can filter out based on the scores as well. So that's the flexibility we do have. So this is what the individual highest scores in Tish match cricket. For individual scores, we're in the Sevak list top in the Tish match individual scores, okay? So let's go back to the next analysis, highest runs in test. So just double click on a player 
and this is the total number of runs. Let me convert into a bar graph. And most of the part I'm just doing, I'm using a bar graph just for uh, just to showcase the number of runs or centuries or the highest individual score. This looks pretty flexible. If you want, we can also go for different visualizations as well. So highest runs in the test match. So in total runs, just drag and drop runs into labels. And this is what the highest individual, like total number of runs in test cricket. The first, as you know, Sachin Tendulkar list top in the number of runs in test match cricket and also in one day. So next to Tendulkar, we have Rahul Dravid, Sunny Gavaskar, VVS Lakshman, Render Sevak, and you can see Rak Kohli. So this was the top uh, highest run getters in test match cricket for India. So for this particular report, Sachin Tendulkar is top for highest runs in test match cricket. And the last one is highest average. So we can make use of the same player name and just double click on the average. And if you want, you can make use of create a bar graph and let's make use of sorting. So it depends on the number of matches, basically. If you want to limit the total number of matches, at least let's make use of total number of matches by at least minimum, if you want to consider 50. I'm just using the benchmark as 50. So you can use any benchmark as 30. You can also go for benchmark as 30. But at least I just want to filter out based on the number of matches, minimum 50 matches and the total or the highest average you can drag and drop into labels for average as well. Sachin Tendulkar list top in the average for test match cricket for India. The next you can see Virat Kohli. Slight difference in the decimals. So for Virat Kohli you can see 53.62. But Tendulkar list top in the average for test match cricket. So this is the perfect analysis for uh, India. So if, if you want, you can also filter out based on average more than 50 or something like that. You can also see Rahul Ravid. Rahul Ravid's average is 52. Sunny Gavaskar is also like 50 plus, 51.12. So as you can see, these are the top players. And you can also see Vrender Sevak, it's close to like 50. And next to Pujara, so reaching to 50. 48 to 50 so so this is what the highest average based on the total number of tests played and I just limited the number of matches at least you can also go for 30 as I said but generally uh, for Karun Nair it seems like he played a very less number of matches I think close to six so his average is 62.33 but in general I just want to go for a benchmark as minimum 30. And for this particular report, Sachin Chandulkar is top in this particular uh, report, like highest average in test match cricket. So overall, you can see highest centuries in test match, Sachin Chandulkar. Highest individual score, you can see Vrender Sevak. Highest runs in test match cricket is Sachin Chandulkar. Highest average in test match is also Sachin Tendulkar. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe for more videos.